You know, I would have a new computer now, except for the fact that my car got into a pretty big accident, and I don't know if I'll ever get a good one again. But that's Didn't not that happen important. like twice now? Yes, I'm not very lucky with cars. Fun. Yeah. Were you so, in the car when this happened? Yeah, I got rear-ended. I was driving along Avenue C in Bayonne on 31st Street. I was stopped at the red light. I was going to make a left to go and return two books, actually, because I'm a good citizen like that. They were overdue books, so I'm not that good of a citizen. And then, <laughs> as I was about to make a left, all of a sudden, this idiot woman smashes right into me at 50 miles an hour in her SUV. Apparently unaware, maybe she has some sort of bizarre curse that she cannot see 2,000 Sonatas, because there's no excuse for this level of stupidity. At 50 miles an hour? It had to be 50 miles are an you, hour. It felt like 50 miles an hour. Okay? There was no braking involved. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it was 50 my trunk. miles an hour then. No, my trunk is kind of funny shaped. Not now. okay. Now we know not never to do anything good ever again. Yeah. This is why we I, can't I, have nice I did stuff. return the books. Yeah. It, it was the curse of the librarians. It's very binding. I, I guess so. I might actually have charges due, but I haven't been back to that library since. So, uh, anyway, mm. before my computer melts, let's uh, start this thing up. The order of operations is right before you. We're in alphabetical order, so that's good. Okay? So you can all hit play in five, four, three, two, one. Hit play. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VIII Let's Play, brought to you by the Final Fantasy Wiki. That wiki where you go for Final Fantasy stuff. It's pretty good. With me tonight is an all-star cast of the best of the best of the Final Fantasy Wiki. And me. I'm Blue Highwind. I'm not that. But these three are. This is Jungfa. Hello, this is the scintillating scape mode. And this is Tactic Angel. Tactic Angel, who's not a mystery guest this time. Not a mystery guest. It's kind of a regular yes. now. So to exp wait, wait, the yeah. mystery's been no, ruined. Mystery. Yeah, I, I don't feel like doing the mystery. Because um, we're doing the Chocobo Forest side quest. Which is Yay. not one of my favorites at all. If you've ever played Chocobo Hot and Cold in Final Fantasy IX and loved it, then don't do this, because it's nothing like that. You, uh... Well, it's daily like that, only much, much worse. Yeah, I mean, it's no kind ukulele. of a... It, it's a puzzle where you have to go and move your sonar around and move the ch baby Chocobos down, and there's a very specific pattern you have to do it. And there's not really a trick to it, it's just kind of trial and error. It's kind of what I got when I played it's it. It's not trying to go into the Forest of Solitude. The Forest of Solitude is really rough. Right now we're in the Forest of Snow. I don't remember okay. which one this is. This is kind of the first one you're supposed to go to. Yeah, it's the Forest of what's its face Beginners. Yeah, what, what I oh, always do is... Oh, it's stuff from this one. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. You have a Chocobo Radar and you have a Chocoparo Xeno. It's on Zener. The Chocobo Radar yeah. tells you when a Chocobo's around. The Chocobo Zener makes Chocobos fall from the ground. And for some reason, this isn't two buttons. You just have to go into the menu and switch it up. I yeah, honestly have did this so long ago that I don't remember how this works at all. I remember playing uh, it for five minutes and being done. I, I vaguely remember yeah. how this works. Tactic Angel, you're kind of thinking the way I would think, because if I wasn't doing this for the Let's Play, I would have given up almost immediately. Because this is... Meh. Yeah. Eh. Well, well, the way you do this is you use a guide, and that's how you do it. Yeah, that's pretty oh, much I mean, it. you use a guide for Force of Solitude. The other ones are relatively sort of okay, mostly. Yeah. The guide is to make a big chocobo come down, and then you have to go and find a treasure, and the big chocobo will lead you there. And oh, then the Chocobo the Boy is surprised by this. The Choco Boy. Yeah. It's actually Chocobo Oi. Chocobo Oi. That's how it's Choc Choco Bowie. Choco what, what I know about him Choco is that he Bowie. is an evil monster and he hides places where he's supposed to check for Chocobo. Yeah, that describes David Bowie pretty well. He's an androgynous <laughs> person from Mars, right? Well, the he spiders are from Mars, not him. Yeah. Well, if you've ever seen The Man Who Fell From Earth, his genitalia is, well, uh, creative, I think is a diplomatic way of saying it. Alright then. 
And I'm I'm gonna go say that movie is a realistic biography of David Bowie. No one would argue. Yeah. Well, maybe David Bowie's lawyers would say so. So I'm gonna go and uh, adjust that statement by saying it's allegedly a biography of David Bowie's real life. <laughs> I think I'm the only person who's paying attention to what's going on on the screen. And it doesn't make any more sense... I'm watching, it's just... It doesn't make any more sense you... watching somebody do it successfully. I'm, I'm not even sure if I'm doing yeah, it successfully, no, or if this is one of the times I kind of screw up. Because you really, you, you really just have to guess. The chocobos go up and down, and there's a very specific pattern to it. I, I, I honestly have no recollection of how this works at all. I think the ultimate goal is to get all the chocobos on the ground, and then the big one will come down. Yeah. Well, no, I think the big one's an optional thing that you do. You, know, you get all the chocobos down, and in a certain spot you call it, you get the chocobo. It's something. There's definitely something to this. No, no, the idea is you gotta get the big chocobo from every single forest, and then you lead them to the top secret ultimate chocobo forest where you'll get a summon that you'll never want to use. So, what is with this little gauge card. at the bottom left that keeps doing the same thing regardless of what you're doing? Uh, that's, uh, the radar. Yeah, but what does it do? It's because it doesn't seem useful. Yeah, I thought ordinarily it goes... It, yeah, normally it seems like it works more usefully. I don't know what it's doing now. Yeah, see, there, there it goes. Yeah, it shoots up. You'll either get a sound or the radar thing will go up. The sound is almost impossible to hear, so... And the game is often very capricious as to whether or not you've actually hit the spot or you missed. And as for me, I always get my radar and my zener mixed up, so I wind up screwing it up. Yeah, that's not fun. Yeah. I, uh, I took like a week-long break trying to get myself into the right mental place to go and play this particular part of the game. Because I really did not feel like doing it. Yeah, oh. I think I remember those games. Yeah, this forest. Oh my god, I hate this one. It's not, right. is it, I don't think it's Solitude, is it? No, this is... Uh, actually, I didn't have that much trouble with Solitude, despite what people said. This one... <laughs> <laughs> this one, uh, you see those two chocobos there? So I went and I looked just about everywhere to go yes. and get them. And then finally, I'm like, alright, I've tried everything around here, it must be down this path. And I swear to god, I went down this path and I checked every single square inch, except for a very specific one where you need to go and look to get the chocobo. Isn't it down this path? It is down this path. Is this the one where you have to talk to the so, guy yes. the chocobo is like, hey, you're standing on the place that I need to... No, that's the Yeah, no, I think one. that's fourth of solitude. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was actually standing over the treasure. Because I remember yeah, that that's was just why stupid. I mentioned that whole bit with, you know, that guy is a massive evil jerk and he stands where he needs to be stuck. But, I mean, you could imagine that at some point when Square Next was developing Final Fantasy IX, maybe this is like the proto form of hot and cold, the ungood version. It's like sweet and yeah, sour. Yeah, it's, it's entirely possible somebody. Okay, this is completely awful. How do we make it good? It's kind of like the music that David Bowie made while he was on Mars, which wasn't very good, but I mean, he was a little kid back then. He was just learning his craft, which is why they never put it in any records. But this should not have been put in any game. That's what I'm saying. Also, yeah, I David think I Bowie. Get what yeah. Yeah. The metaphor's kind of strained, but you know. Uh, also, Chocobo up Squall's ass. I didn't need that mental image. You saw it. Went all the way through. You saw it. It wasn't just a mental well, I was, image. I, I you saw it on the screen. It, <laughs> you saw yeah, it. but it didn't really click until you said that. <laughs> I, I that would have been perfectly okay if somebody hadn't mentioned it. I looked really you good You saw on the, horrifying, the horrifying fusion of Chocobo and man. <laughs> I get... Oh. Mm. Squall has become Jeff Goldblum in The Fly. He's pushed science too far. He is wrought in places that man should not go. Clipping in this game is pretty awful, I have to admit. Ah, we're here! Yeah, this is, uh, this is Jim Cloud's favorite forest. It's I'm, not. I'm glad I got you for this episode, Jim Cloud, because you're like the only person who's ever actually done this. I, I think there are people who have done this, but I think they've all repressed their memories of doing this. Just so they don't have to remember it? Well, look I mean, at it I... this way. I have to do this on national television or national well, television. international y national YouTube. Television. YouTube. If it was national television, that would be definitely a thing. That would be a thing. 
This is actually being oh, broadcast. Don't you live. know this entire this entire thing is going to get produced on ABC? It, it's national television, oh, but it's okay. the national television of Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan? Yep. <laughs> Are you this a big sporkle fan? Television. This is a Kyrgyzstani yeah. uh, treasure. Uh. The cornerstone of Kyrgyzstani okay, television. Okay, now we go. You, you know, just, gonna, just get out of the secret. way. I don't really like Kyrgyzstan. I like Tajikistan much better. Oh, I'm ashamed. What are you gonna do about it, huh, Kyrgyzstani? Luna rules? Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. No, we're not playing cards, you dumbass. Get the hell. Yeah, out I know. Here. No, I, I keep trying to why, make why it. Why do you keep? I keep on making. I'm thinking if I say no enough times, he's not going to play by lunar rules. But he, why, he's why very, he's very that? insistent upon it. What's weird about Triple Triad is like you get into these long arguments with the NPCs over the card rules. <laughs> no, finally, it's hardly like, arguments. It's just you refuse to play until they give in. No, this is an argument. It's like I want to play by lunar rules. No, I want to play by lunar rules. No, I want to play by lunar rules. No, you shut up. Just move. Just get get, get the hell out. Get out of here. Get get no, get, get out of here. Get out of here. You know what? No. All right. This is what you do in real life. If somebody's up to you and it's like I want to play by lunar rules, you punch them right in the fucking face. <laughs> it's not gonna make you any friends. I don't so, need friends. I so have an we're, army. We're doing the card I... side quest today, right? Yeah, it's yes. gonna get better. Uh, that's unfortunate because Luna rules. Yeah, uh, actually, the card queen side quest is the worst side quest in this game. Yeah, you know, I didn't I don't actually know. do that. It cannot side be quest. more boring than watching. But congratulations, this. you've done more Final Fantasy VIII than I have. I actually. Legitimately, I did the side quest too, but I never actually finished the card queen side quest. Uh, I did. I didn't even try, I was just like, heck with that, I don't want it. Uh, well, to be fair, you don't have to do all of it, you just need to get the Kiros card. Yeah, no, I didn't really want to do any of it. Yeah, I, I can understand why. Yeah. Intelligent people know better than to play the card queen side quest. I mean, yeah, I just. Did as much of the quest, uh, as much cards as I needed to break the game, and then I was good. To be fair, at least Final Fantasy VIII lets all this stuff as an option. Where if we were playing Final Fantasy XIII, we'd just be going down a two. I guess the forbidden game. Thirteen two. No, in thirteen two, you'd be playing very lame, lame side quest for DLC. <laughs> Give us yeah, you want to play slots, huh? Well, how about some five bucks? Give us. Oh man, money. I lost my watch. In no, the I think time slots period. are the only game you can play without DLC. Oh no, it was poker. You gotta play. You gotta give them five bucks. Yes, to yeah, it was. It was the card game that you needed to pay money for. By the way, Square Enix. All right, you can play poker for free in real life. No one wants to pay money to play video. Well, technically poker. speaking, you would need to purchase cards or obtain them in some way. You can uh, you can buy cue cards and write your own things. You go make your own yeah, kings. Yeah, I guess you could do that. But you can make the queen cards customer. instead of instead of having queens. You can have the band members of Queen. Freddie Mercury would be the Queen of Hearts. I'm sure, if you could try. I'm sure I could. <laughs> oh, okay. Get back in on that. I mean, it is hard. It's kind of like drawing the magnificence of God Himself. Three Check circles within bowling. one circle. Yeah. Very difficult to imagine, but it is possible. Mm. There we are. That's that Chocobo. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, it's. Well, you had to bowl with Chocobo. Like what do you have to do? Chocobo, I guess. Uh, what's for? What are you doing? He's uh getting. He's yeah. Yeah, he's uh. He's chocoboing. I mean, the the here's one thing, by the way, the treasures for this side quest worthless. That's that flare stone, that ultima stone, whatever. You can get all that stuff by going to the islands closest to heaven and hell in a minute. No, thank you. Yeah, I know, but it's still useful in in its way. Sentimental value. Yeah, sure. Why not? By the way, can I mention that I love this song, ukulele, or... It's, what is it, Monster Chocobo? I forget. I, I don't know. It's a Chocobo theme. Funk to Chocobo. Yes, I, I'm aware uh, that it is a Chocobo theme. Thank you. 
It's funny how much They're music kind of... got onto like distant worlds from Final Fantasy VIII, but just how not great the game. Well, Final Fantasy oh, VIII music go. is its best feature. Oh, that's the worst right there. Alright, that's, that's what happens when you do it wrong. Right? If you screw it up, you go and you try to get a chocobo in a place where there isn't one, a chocobo will fall from the heavens and steal your whistle, and you gotta pay 700 bucks to get it back. And by the way, yeah, I was well, standing two inches away from the spot I needed your to be at. In the wrong place. Two inches away, and I lose it. This guy's a real villain of Final Fantasy VIII. He is, yeah. Way worse than <laughs> Ultimecia. No, I'd say the Queen of Cards is a real villain of Final Fantasy VIII. You know who I'm gonna blame? I'm gonna blame Sid. Uh-huh. Sid? Sid. Yeah. You mean it's... for leaving you alone and then gallivanting off to yeah, the island? He... You gotta do no, play he's cards like... with his wife? Yeah, he, he, he put Squall in charge so he could go and spend the rest of the game having sex with Edia in their orphanage. Hey, makes sense. No, see, I said playing cards, and that was perfectly okay and worth saying. Yeah, playing cards, yeah, okay. Strip triple triad, is it a thing? 